Sony and Siemens are bringing the heat in 2024 with an intensely powerful new XR headset that makes the Quest 3 tremble and has Apple sweating bullets over their precious Vision Pro. In one corner, the 70-year-old creator of PlayStation now sets its sights on the metaverse after dominating our living rooms. In the other, a 170-year titan of engineering behind trains, turbines, and more throws their hat into virtual worlds, an unexpected pairing oozing experience. Their secret weapon? An insane XR headset built for creative pros to manifest highly immersive 3D environments with unprecedented realism. I'm talking next-gen image quality with high-resolution OLED 4K micro displays, packing a massive color range approaching human perception limits. And it's powered by Qualcomm's latest bleeding-edge Snapdragon Gen 2 platform, engineered to push pixel counts and handle complex tracking without breaking a sweat. Rendered smoothly at 90Hz with OLED's inky blacks. But immersion takes more than specs. That's why they equipped revolutionary optics with expansive 120-degree horizontal views nearing natural human vision. And it's visible in tack sharp clarity thanks to custom lenses eliminating distortion. Activities like 3D modeling can now be experienced virtually as they would be in real life, with the headset reaching an astonishing 60 pixels per degree accuracy, essentially matching the human eye. Our first untethered device matching natural sight. Mind-blowing. But here's where things get wild. Seeing reality through the lenses has gotta be as solid as to the virtual stuff. No janky, grainy footage, shattering illusions. Well, engineers, Sony and Siemens just made AR capabilities freakishly real in an XR headset with dual 20 megapixel low latency cameras using algorithms modeled on human visual processing for lifelike representations. The XR4 Focal Edition even has autofocus, ensuring real-world views are sharp, just like our eyes. This biomimicry breakthrough means complex virtual elements can finally be seamlessly blended with intricate real environments for incredibly sophisticated workflows across design, simulation, and play. The realm of what's humanly possible expands. And that's just the headset. Alongside lies an arsenal of ergonomic peripherals, so users can manipulate virtual objects with both hands as intuitively as in real life, which is essential for heightened mixed reality experiences. We're talking about a slick rain controller to grasp and manipulate 3D objects with simple gestures, and a stylus-like pointer remote yielding superior tactile controls for precise selection expected from traditional devices. Together, they unlock staggering capabilities to draft, sculpt, and more without even leaving the virtual zone. This is an immersive spatial creation in the zone for hours non-stop. Spatial surround sound speakers and noise-canceling mics make jumping into shared virtual worlds with remote colleagues feel more natural than being squeezed around a conference table. And the flip-up visor enables effortlessly transitioning between realities in seconds without reorienting the device's fit. I'm calling it now. This empowers creators to manifest intricate 3D visions, mechanical parts, concept models, and digital film or game characters with unprecedented quality using highly natural tools and interactions. Forget static CAD renderings. This enables evaluating fleshed-out designs directly within life-size virtual prototypes years before physical versions exist. Unlike other commercial XR headsets, this touts easy integration with hundreds of professional 3D tools like Unity and Unreal Engine via simple plugins, minimizing IT headaches for enterprises to bring teams into highly immersive collaboration. And with out-of-box inside-out tracking plus support for systems like Steam VR and OptiTrack, it brings tailorable configurations without calibration hassles bogging users down. Forking out multi-thousands makes perfect sense given the visual performance and precision input commercial use cases need. But how does it stack against the Quest 3 and Apple Vision Pro consumer entrance? Well, 
plain and simple. This plays in different leagues. The Quest 3 touts its solid standalone capability and content, but can't touch the sheer processing muscle and unbound graphics potential of a tethered PC. And while slick consumer-focused offerings like the Vision Pro paint compelling mass-market appeal, they merely scratch the surface of what's possible for specialized industrial use requiring utmost realism. Simply put, this Sony plus Siemens headset makes no compromises, hitting the gold standard of accuracy, speed, and capability professionals need to justify significant investment in pioneering XR. Purpose built from the ground up for engineering and creative fields rather than casual home use. That positions this to massively disrupt expectations across design, manufacturing, and simulation training. Needing this caliber of realism for conceiving game-changing concepts, the lack visibility without cutting-edge XR. No longer imagine if technology matches real-world perception. This undoubtedly delivers exactly that in spades, even in first-gen form. The unrelenting innovation by these collaborators signals immersive computing still breaking bold new barriers in 2024. Thanks to their proven pedigree, expect rapid evolution to broaden capabilities even further in short order. Alright, that's the breakdown of why Quest 3 and Apple Vision Pro peer over their shoulder at this untamed Sony Plus Siemens Mixed Reality Beast. What use cases excite you most? Let me know in the comments. See you in the next video.